Well, there's a lot of history in the city of Nanaimo, and now there's a new place for people to go and discover it. This past summer, the bigger and better Nanaimo Museum opened its doors. And tonight, our island explorer, Kendall Hansen, ventures inside. It was only seven months ago that Nanaimo District Museum opened its doors at its new location at the Vancouver Island Conference Centre. Hi, I'm Debbie Truman. I'm the general manager of the new Nanaimo Museum, and I'd love to show you around. Come on with me. With more than triple its previous space, there were new exhibits and a vision to do things never possible before. Our goal here at the museum is for visitors at the end of their experience of visiting the museum is to know what were the origins of Nanaimo and how did the city get to where it is today. And some of those things that make Nanaimo unique include its history with the Shunemu First Nation, its famous dessert, does this seat look familiar, and of course the world famous bathtub race. We wanted to look at what made Nanaimo unique. So it, the, our, our history isn't just as a coal mining town on the harbour. So another harbour community that mined coal. But what's unique about Nanaimo, what defines Nanaimo, what's our spirit, what's our tradition. And of course you can't talk about that without talking about Frank Ney and the bathtub race because it's a big part of who we are. The Nanaimo Sports Hall of Fame is a new exhibit with the first induction this past September. The goal to highlight the city's rich sporting culture. Some of the first inductees include the Nanaimo Timberman team who won the Man Cup in 1956. Phil Olson, who set the world junior javelin record, and Olympic runner Hugh Thompson. The selection panel had a really hard time the first year. We had over 50 nominations, so it was very hard to boil that down to the first 10 inductees. A process that will continue every year. Another new exhibit highlights the history of the Shunemu First Nation. Opened in December, it contains new and old, with some artifacts like this one, found during an excavation in Departure Bay. It's a very well-worn stone, it's got some staining in it, it's smooth, uh, it has a face incised into it. You know, you say, who used that? I mean, what were they doing with it? It was a part of a ceremony they had, was it, you know, was it used in the home? Despite the museum's focus, there will also be room for special out-of-town exhibits. The first is coming this summer from the Canadian Museum of Civilization. It's about famous Montreal Canadian Rocket Richard. We didn't have any room in the old museum to bring in any of these exhibits. They're all too large. And we didn't meet the environmental controls either in the old space. So it's an exciting time for those at the museum, which is open Tuesday through Saturday. With a $2 admission for adults, it's well worth the walk through Nanaimo's history. Thanks, Kendall. And if you would like to learn about the Harbour City's past, the Nanaimo Museum is open Tuesday to Saturdays from 10 to 5.